So we want to you know, do our first panel presentation and nail it immediately. And if we don't nail it immediately, we say, oh, well, I guess I'm just not a great speaker. Decades of research into the art of high performance has shown us that high performers are made, not born. And we get this when it comes to our kids. So for instance, if you have children and you are putting them into a new sport or you're putting them into piano lessons, you have probably heard yourself say, or maybe you heard this as a kid growing up, make sure that you practice. Practice makes perfect. Makes total sense. We get it when it applies to kids. But for many ambitious, goal-oriented adults, the idea of practice kind of floats right out of our heads. We sometimes think that we should be great at something right away. We think that we need to get results right away. And we're preaching to our kids about how instant gratification is wrong and bad, but we want instant gratification. So we want to you know, do our first panel presentation and nail it immediately. And if we don't nail it immediately, we say, oh, well, I guess I'm just not a great speaker. Or we start hiring staff and building a team and maybe our team isn't as aligned as it should be. Maybe our meetings aren't as efficient as they should be. Maybe we're finding that we're not yet able to translate what we have in here into instructions and processes that are good enough for our team to follow. And you might say to yourself, oh, I guess I'm just not cut out to be a leader of people. Well, that's an example of a really fixed mindset approach to growth. One of the things that I have seen from working with high performing leaders is that they get that high performance is all about, yes, having goals and yes, you know, setting um, outcomes that you want to achieve, but then releasing those outcomes and actually staying primarily focused on the process and being willing to practice your skills so that ultimately you can master them. And then of course, at that point, the results and the outcome basically take care of themselves. So the takeaway for you is whatever you're doing, whatever goals you're going after, yes, set them, have them, but devote yourself to a love of the process, not an attachment to the results.